Village Inn in Grand Saline burned down, but some people say they lost a town treasure. The building has stood tall since the 1800s and gave a sense of East Texas's past. CBS 19's Kenley Hargett met with a town historian on the impact of the loss. There's nothing left to a building Ed Bailey says he grew up going to. The old cotton gin welcomes you into Grand Saline and stood tall for decades. It was an old gin and part of the structure was still here. People still thought of it as a part of the history of the county because it, at one time cotton was a major crop in this county. On Sunday, a massive fire destroyed the building. Bailey says it was originally called Tunnels Gin and later became a Van Zant County co-op shed. Bailey remembers bringing his family farm crops to the co-op. Well, we sold produce here, it's tomatoes and corn, it, when it would become a co-op shed. Uh, as far as I know, my dad never did sell cotton here, but it, it was a cotton gin. Bailey says when the cotton industry ended, the building became a store in Domino Hall. There was two structures still here. The, the front part was actually an old store in a kind of a domino hall. Later on, a man bought the building and turned it into a hall, which was never used. Down the road is Grand Saline's old school museum. Inside is a painting of the old cotton gin building, a memory for past generations to see. Well, it's just sad that it's gone. It was a kind of a focal point, uh, you know, since it was a part of the history of the town and the county. Reporting in Grand Saline, Kenley Hargett, CBS 19. Grand Saline Fire Department.